All right, Sketch Pad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we're going to be reacting to Killer Mike on Bill Maher's show, not endorsing Biden and why he doesn't. All right, so let's get into it. We be back, Sketch Pad. All right, yeah, man, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. Hey, man, links on the tape on the top of the page. If you want to donate, thank y'all for all y'all donations. And um, yeah, man. So if you want to, if we if we earn your subscription today, you know what I'm saying, subscribe to the channel. And we gonna get into this clip real quick with uh Bill Maher and uh Killer Mike. What are your feelings on the election coming up? I mean, Biden and Trump. Are you just depressed about that as most people, my, as a choice? My, my feeling is pick your policy, not your person. Find out this is, this is not the Dallas Cowboys versus your favorite team. This is, this is the policies that will affect our generations for the next 20, 30, 40 years to come. So close your eyes, listen to the policies that are being pushed, and... and Pay attention even to the people who don't have a chance of winning because they're going to say policies you may want to push. And I would say do that. But make it policy based. Make so, it policy. so that means, therefore, that means I'm, I'm for black people and happy black history. Month. But you're not you're not saying one candidate over the other. Hey, man, my nigga, you ain't going to get me in no trouble tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, my, 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 no, my, no, that's your job with me to my, get me in trouble. My grandfather gave me some stellar advice sometimes. He says, son, sometimes well, you just got to know to stay out of white folks' business. And well, <laughs> this, well, this, this time, I'm going to keep my mouth closed. I, I still like the policy that the old man had that I was supporting. I would encourage people to find who's supporting that policy and, and see what But happens. you can't get yourself to say vote for Biden over Trump? You, you want me to list it now, so now, now I'm, we I'm gotta, just saying that... Can, that's, can that's, he get himself to apologize for the crime bill? Can he get, can he get himself oh, to get his head out of his oh, ass and say, black people, you, you are black regardless. I need you to tell me what I need to do. Can he pick a coalition of former people who are affected by drug laws, street gangs, recidivism and crime, and say, I need you as a board to advise me how to fix federal prisons? If he can do that, absolutely I can. So my challenge is out. <laughs> All right. <Man. sighs> Bill Maher, Bill Maher, Bill Maher. Bill Maher, Bill Maher. Bill Maher will walk. You hate... Bill Maher is one of my favorite late-time talk show hosts of all time. But Bill Maher suffers from Trump derangement syndrome. He is one of the ones who suffers the most from it. Bill Maher will literally argue with you about Trump versus Biden. And he will say Biden is in a better mental state than Trump, which we <laughs> all know is not true. Definitely Everybody not. can see it. I think that they believe if they can tell you something over and over again, out of 10 people, if they can get two to believe it, they won. But even the two people that they're trying to get to believe it is questioning that. So when Killer Mike said all those things that Joe Biden should have been apologized for, let's be clear here. Joe Biden is a racist. I repeat, Joe Biden is a racist. I'm just going to say that 100%. Joe Biden does not care for black people at all. He will chill and do things around black people, but he does not care for black people at all. 
everything that Joe Biden has said about black people has been negative. You have never heard Joe Biden say something positive about black people. It's always some type of spin. He said, if you don't vote for me, you ain't black. That's a clear indication that he's racist right there. Then he also said, unlike the African-American community, the Latino community is much more diverse. They much more into different things. So wait, and I know what people are going to say. He meant when he said diverse, he meant that there's different denominations of Spanish. He didn't specify that. And why do you have to include the black community? What does that have to do with them being diverse? Why can't you just said, hey, the Latino community or the Spanish community is diverse. Why do you have to say unlike the black or unlike the African-American community. Like, what do you have to say that for? For what? He also said, Obama is a clean boy. He also attended the death or, or the funeral of a, of a, a grand wizard Klansman. Mm. He also plagiarized his way through college. Wow. All I'm going to say is people shield for Joe Biden because they just hate Trump. It has nothing to do with Joe Biden being a good president. Because if you look around, Joe Biden is the worst president that we have ever experienced and people know it, but they just hate Trump so much that they will give him a pass. They don't care. They will give Joe Biden a pass no matter what, even black people. Joe Biden will tell you if you vote for somebody else, you ain't black and you will still vote for him. This white man will tell you that you are not black if you don't vote for him. How is it that you will still vote for a white man who tells you you're not black if you don't vote for him. Mm. This is the issue that we have as black people. You always talk about Trump, but this guy will spit in your face and you'll just wipe it off and probably kiss him on the cheek for it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Uncle Biden. <laughs> Thank you, Granddaddy Biden. <laughs> this is what y'all do. So this is what kills me about people who talk about Trump. Democracy's on the ballot. Shut the fuck up with that. Trump was in office three, four years ago. Did he destroy the country then? No, you didn't. think he's going to do it now? He's going to destroy the country now. He didn't do it before, but this time he's going to do it. What? Why? So when, we, when Bill Maher say stuff like this, I just laugh. You can't bring yourself to say, to say uh, Trump or Biden. Why do, he, why do he have to say that? Bill Maher, why does Killer Mike have to say that? Remember, I remember when we wasn't allowed to say who we voted for. Yeah. Now, all of a sudden, because you're black, you have to say Joe Biden. You couldn't say, you know what? I respect your opinion, man. You don't have to vote for Joe Biden. Not one time did they ever give us a reason why that man said what he said about black people. If you got a problem voting for me or Trump, then you ain't black. Not one person said that they said it was a gaffe that's too long to be a gaffe he had to think that out if you have a problem voting for me or trump then you ain't black if you have a problem voting for me or trump then you ain't black you ain't black
He didn't even use the proper wording. He used nigga wording. You ain't black. He ain't say you're not black. Mm -hmm. Properly, he used your terms that you made up. Ain't. Go ahead, man. That's all I gotta say, man. Man. I feel like, you know, this whole thing with uh, Biden and Trump is just such a repetitive type of, you know, topic. Because we literally, we literally been saying these type of things for a minute. And like, you know, um, people still have their opinions on where they should go with what. You know, um, mm -hmm. proof, the proof is in the pudding, really. You know what I'm saying? Like, he already, he already shown, he already put himself out there, you know what I mean, to, 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 for everybody to tell. But the funny thing about this is that they would rather have somebody as ill as Joe Biden than to have somebody who's, who's, uh, who's mentally and physically stable to help run this country because they have such a disdain for, for Trump, which is crazy to me because like we've ran into worser people than Trump. The U S have had to, had to handle way worse, more people than Trump, but yet you're painting Trump to be this like quote unquote dictator. You're paying him, you're doing all these ads, painting him to be something, you know what I mean, that he's that he most likely is not. Most likely. You know what I mean? Let I'm me not saying you, that. Let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. What, and, and this, this and I just want to know. Mm -hmm. You know what a dictator is. Yeah. What has Trump done that you can say he's a dictator? He yeah. hasn't done anything that's a that, that's dictatorship. He hasn't done anything. And that's my whole point. That's my whole point. They, the problem is, the problem is with the United States, mainly, mainly on the Democratic side, some on the Republican too. They don't like outspoken people. They don't like a person that knows that color is blue, but everybody else is saying it's orange. They don't like those type of people because as soon as that person come in there and says blue and I'm standing on business, all of a sudden those people get disgruntled. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They don't like people that stand on business. My man didn't even come to the elect, bro. He didn't even come to the debate and they people still wanted him in office, bro. He didn't come. And those people, in that debate were pissed were pissed now he has an ally in vivek vivek you know what i'm saying that mm -hmm. if this man wins and vivek joins his establishment which we did a video on that by the way make sure you check it out he joins the established bro they're gonna be an unstoppable force they're gonna be like the mega powers bro <laughs> mega mega <laughs> <laughs> The mega mega powers. <laughs> it's gonna be like the mega powers, bro. Like nobody's gonna be able to do nothing with them, bro. Because you got two outspoken people, one who's 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 outspoken, and one who's outspoken and educated, and got bars. Like he mm. will he will walk you down with them words and destroy you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. There's not too many people like that in politics at all. So my my thing is like people like do yourself justice and just you know what I mean put somebody in the seat that is going to do the right thing. Simple as that. Because I'm telling you right now and I'm not I'm not even going to say who who I would want to see, but you probably would know anyway by the way I'm talking. I'm just saying that, you know what I mean? 
as much as I hate politics, I'm smart enough to see what's really going on. You know what I mean? I'm smart enough to see and I'm smart enough to know. So at the end of the day, I'm going to want somebody in there that is going to have my best interest at heart. Even though you might think that person don't have your best interest, but at the end of the day, he does. Because when that person was in office, there was no wars. You know what I mean? Uh, what they talk about. He might have went over and talked to all these other now, the other people that he was talking to outside of the country, those were dictators. But we ain't talking about that, though. We talk, we're talking, we painting Trump as a dictator. But he went to go talk to the dictators. And did you see those dictators put a mass attack on the United States? No, they didn't. You know what I mean? Because they understand the logic of this man. They understand it. They know. They're like, oh, that makes sense. Let me just... Mm -hmm. Let me fall back. Let me fall back. You know what I mean? And whether whether y'all like his his tactics or not, you got to respect it because there's not too many people that's willing to go put their lives on the line to go do that. How many people you know is going to travel to another country and go talk to uh Cole, what's his name? Kyle, Kyle Jim, whatever. How you Kim pronounce Jong his name? Kim Jong -un. Yeah. Yeah, how many people you how many people you know that's going to want to do that? Not many. Everybody, everybody's really like scared, terrified of that man. So it's like, you know what I mean? And then let's not even talk about Vladimir Putin. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you gotta, you gotta like look at the whole entire picture here. You know what I mean? Like you, you could, you could, if you still have the hate for a person, still you could have the hate all you want. But at the end of the day, like if that guy's going to, Make sure you got a job. Make sure you got a roof over your head. Make sure this, make sure that, and put everything in proper perspective. Then you kind of got to give a little bit of leeway. Just a little bit. You know what I mean? But, yeah. hey, what do we know? What do we know? We don't know nothing. We just, we don't know nothing. You know? Hey, man. Look, we out of here, Sketchpad. You know what it is. See y'all people. Like